Hi guys, and welcome to day 13 of Carry Malformation Awareness Month. Um, just as a quick little note, I'm rather proud of myself that I've kept up with it so far. Uh, usually by this time, I've stopped posting videos and it becomes much more scattered. So, a little bit of a yay for me. Today, I will be giving Sadie's testimonial. Now, Sadie was diagnosed at 15 years old, but her symptoms started at 10. She went to a neurologist for a year, trying every pill there was, and nothing was wor working for the migraines. Finally, after a year of complaining, the doctor finally scanned her brain and diagnosed her with the carry malformation. It changed her life at the time in that she had to have brain decompression surgery. That is when they go in, they take out a part of the spinal cord or part of the skull. That surgery was hard for her to recover from because she had a cyst in her brain and it made her throw up for a week straight. She finally got some symptoms to let up, but after a few months they returned. It affects her daily life a lot. She tries her best to push through it, but it's so hard and currently she's not working. She is applying for disability because of the fact that she cannot work due to the pain. She's had a total of two brain surgeries, two knee surgeries, a spinal surgery, Botox, nerve blocks, countless procedures, and hundreds of, MI of MRIs, which I can attest to. The MRIs are obnoxious. And she's going through ablations in her back right now. Now... One of the biggest things she is proud of, though, is that she is a graduate of college with a bachelor's degree in psychology, which, Sadie, that is absolutely amazing with everything you're, you've gone through and everything you're currently going through and you're able to get your bachelor's degree. Absolutely amazing. Now, I asked her what is her biggest limitation she faces right now. And her biggest limitation is not being able to go to work or go to school. She doesn't have a job and she is living with her parents because she is still in too much pain to go to work. Um, she wants people to know how hard it is to push through the pain and how much it limits your daily life. Now, if you guys remember in my testimonial, I did mention that I am one of the lucky people who is able to go to work and... It is incredibly hard to push through that pain and Sadie is dealing with so much pain right now that she's unable to work and that can be such a detriment and it can honestly make her feel like she's not doing enough because that is very, I mean, it's, it's hard. It's a big limitation and it, it sometimes makes people feel less than because their condition limits them so much. Now, Sadie is currently 24 and she was diagnosed when she was 15. So I was diagnosed the day before I turned 16 and I am now 20. So Sadie has been dealing with the condition much longer than I have. Um, and she has gone through many more surgeries than I have. And her story is, you know, th this is her story. She, it, it shows that even though everything she went through, she was still able to get her bachelor's in psychology. She's still fighting just to get a job, just to continue schooling. And that can be hard. But Sadie is a warrior and she is pushing through it. And you can see that in everything that, I mean, you can see that in her story, which is amazing. Everything that she's gone through and she still just does her best to get up every day and live life and push through the pain. So I hope you guys take this testimonial, listen to Sadie's, listen to the other ones that I've put up, follow us for more that are coming. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. This is Caitlin, and I will see you guys tomorrow.